You know that moment when technology gets too real and you start to wonder if maybe, just maybe, it's not technology anymore. Yeah, this story is one of those moments. Because what you're about to hear isn't just about a robot. It's about a company that had to literally cut its creation open on stage just to prove it wasn't human. When Xpeng unveiled their humanoid robot, Iron, people lost their minds. The way it moved, fluid, balanced, graceful, it didn't twitch or stutter like most humanoids we've seen. It walked like a person. It stood like a person. It even looked around with that subtle awareness we usually associate with us. So, of course, the internet did what the internet always does. People started saying, nah, that's a person in a suit. That's not a real robot memes exploded. Conspiracy threads everywhere. And honestly, even some engineers were like, there's no way that's mechanical motion. Not that smooth. The Xpeng team was stunned. These were people who had spent months perfecting every actuator, every artificial muscle, every line of code. And now, the world was accusing them of faking it. So, they decided to do something absolutely wild. They brought Iron back on stage. And this time, they didn't come to talk. They came to prove. Imagine this. A silent hall, spotlights focused on the robot standing perfectly still. Then, one of the engineers walks up with trembling hands, unzips part of the synthetic skin, and exposes what's underneath. Wires. Actuators. Carbon fiber skeleton. No human inside. Just pure engineering. The crowd gasped. It wasn't just a machine. It was art. But there was something even more emotional about that moment. The speaker actually apologized to the robot. He said, I'm sorry we had to do this to prove you're real. That hit different. Because it wasn't just a tech demo anymore. It was a reflection of something deeper. How much harder it is for innovation to be believed when it comes from a Chinese startup instead of Silicon Valley. If this robot had rolled out under a Tesla logo, people probably would have called it the future. But because it was Xpeng, a company best known for smart cars, the world doubted it. And yet, they didn't stop there. To completely silence the skeptics, the team actually cut open part of Iron's leg during a live broadcast. You could see the layers, synthetic skin, muscle-like actuators, internal skeleton, all while the robot was still powered on. That moment? It wasn't a stunt. It was a statement. It said, We don't need you to believe our words. Just look. Now Xpeng has gone even further. They've introduced a next-generation iron robot. A female form with an even more lifelike body. 22 degrees of freedom in the hands. A biomimetic spine and three custom touring AI chips running 2,250 trillion operations per second. This thing doesn't just walk. It reacts, learns, and communicates through a curved 3D head display. And yet, the company's CEO was surprisingly humble about it. He admitted, We're not ready for home use. It's too advanced, too costly. For now, these robots will serve as tour guides, assistants, and learning models. He wasn't selling hype. He was building trust. Because Xpeng's real mission isn't just to create another robot. It's to build human-centric intelligence. To make machines that move like us, think like us. And someday, maybe even understand us. At the end of that press conference, as the crowd applauded, you could feel it. Respect replacing doubt. Xpeng didn't need a marketing campaign. They needed courage. And they proved something powerful. Innovation doesn't need validation from the West. It needs transparency. It needs heart. And that's what made Irons reveal not just a robotics milestone, but a human one. If you thought humanoid robots were still a decade away, think again. Because Xpeng Iron just blurred the line between human and machine. And for the first time, the future looked back at us.